Hello YouTube, it's mine, Bender here, and being stuck in quarantine sure does leave a guy with plenty of time to build. And as a result, I am excited to be bringing you what is sure to be the latest, greatest, and least hatest online video series to ever grace the information superhighway. Mech Suit Madness, Part 1. Before we begin, I am happy to announce that instructions for everything you see in this video are available over on my PayHip page, while the builds themselves are up for sale on MockHub.com. Both links will be in my pinned comment. First, but not least, are the Street Punks. The Street Punk is a small, cheap, mass-produced mech suit that is a very common sight on the city streets of my LEGO world, hence the name. Their mass production mixed with the fact that they are very easily modified means that street punks see a wide variety of uses. While most people use them simply for personal transport, street punks have also been used for underground mech racing or even as enforcers for low-level crime bosses. The street punk frame can be modified to carry all sorts of weaponry, but the most common armament seems to be a simple pair of swords, probably because they are the easiest to obtain. This, combined with the mech's above-average agility, means that when two punks have a disagreement, the results are usually quite spectacular. Next up, but not least, is the Thug. The Thug mech suit was actually designed by the same manufacturer as the street punk, but is obviously much bigger and much more heavily armored. Unlike the street punk, the Thug was specifically built for combat and features a heavy repeating rifle as well as two adjustable missile racks mounted over top. While thugs are far less common on city streets, they are very dangerous and are often used by militant groups as a way of openly challenging the firepower of local militias. And last but most certainly not least is Golem. Unlike the previous two mechs, Golem is one of a kind. I have so much love for this design simply because of how much fun I had building it. Golem looks to me like a cross between a samurai and a junkyard. I went through several options when trying to come up with a suitable weapon for this mech, and in the end, nothing seemed quite as perfect as the Naginata I ended up settling on. I'm sure Golem and his pilot have a rich and intricate backstory between them, but to me, Golem has too much character to be boxed into one single story, and I am much happier leaving him open for interpretation. As I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, this is only a part one. I have many more small mechs that I don't think deserve entire videos on their own, so I'm just going to group them in into one big mech suit madness part two, so look forward to that. But until next time, I have been Mindbender, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment and tell me what you thought of these builds. I've been Mindbender, and I'll talk to you later.